all these problems that we are putting into the environment have changed with COVID. It doesn't mean that you want to lock down the economy forever. To avoid it, we know that uh, there are many ways we can reduce the, the impact of what we are doing. People fly out in the morning, come back in the afternoon. Those kind of trips are going to be replaced, the fair share of those trips. I think it's easy to imagine a world that has come to take the climate change problem seriously, um, moving in the direction of restricting travel. I mean, there'll always be the question of whether you do that with quantity restrictions, which would, in this case would be carbon, right? Or with prices. Should we do, say, a cap and trade, or should we do a, or just a tax? Cap and trade has the virtue of engaging the market. It has the problem that there's a fixed amount of some resource or pollution rights available. How are we going to allocate it? Companies should give sustainability more weight. You will inevitably forego some growth at the company level, at the individual level. But you have to measure the growth. Notice it applies only to the individual company and then ignore the costs that it's imposing on other things. If you add everything together, if you look at the social contribution of the company or the social rate of growth, then sustainability could well be the maximizing growth maximizing strategy. Companies are profit maximizers. They are going to do something when their customers and their workers and their uh, partners will demand it. As social pressure increases, as young people become a more important part of the workforce and, you know, and want to work for a company that's responsible in multiple dimensions, all of those pressures, I think, will move us in the right direction. We have really become driven or obsessed with this notion of efficiency and everything should be cheap. This will be forcing us to take a step back and actually do what I call real insurance have alternative channels of supply and just diversify yourself in terms of your business and, and your clients and, and your suppliers. How many of the resources we use are not renewable? You know, there is so much wind power, solar power, water power, hydroelectricity, and, and, and we don't use it because in the short term it's more expensive than just digging oil out of the earth and piping it away because we have the infrastructure there. Ten years ago, coal at that time was the cheapest and dirtiest in a multiple dimensions form of producing electric power. Solar is about the same now and it's pretty soon it will be cheaper. Some economists say if you put a price on carbon then you can relax. That's not true. You need engagement, you need values, you need changes in behavior, you need education, you need all kinds of things to, to deal effectively with this, with this challenge. Definitely, there's going to be more localization. It's going to be interesting to see how much this is going to push forward. New forms of transportation, electric cars, self-driving cars, individualized transportation in various forms. More places will look like Amsterdam. <laughs> Uh, now, there's a fair amount of infrastructure that has to be built in order to kind of get there, you know, and do it safely. I mean, I wouldn't ride a bike in New York. <laughs>